Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we had the product of two trinomials. They were identical. We had x plus y plus z times x plus y plus z. But in this example, case two, we have the second trinomial as x plus y minus z. How does that change things? Well, it turns out that the result of that product will only have four terms instead of six terms. The first three terms are exactly as if you were to multiply x plus y times x plus y. So you end up with x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, and then the fourth term will be a minus z squared. Notice that makes it quite easy to come up with a solution. Just so you can see how that's obtained, let's go ahead and actually work that out. So if we're going to multiply those together, what we can do is we can take the first term and multiply it times each of the terms in the second trinomial. We take the second term, and again we do the same, multiply times each of the terms in the second trinomial, and the third term multiply times each of the terms in the second trinomial. Notice nine arrows means nine terms, but somehow those nine terms collapse down to just four terms in the final solution. Let's go ahead and work this out. So this is equal to x times x, which is x squared, x times y, which is plus xy, and x times a negative z, which is a minus x times z. Taking the second term, y times x, plus xy, we write it in alphabetical order, y times y would be plus y squared, and y times a negative z is a minus y times z. Now we have the six terms, three more terms. We take the third term in the first polynomial. We get plus x times z. z times y would be plus y times z. And z times a negative z is a minus z squared. Now let's combine like terms and see what we get. So we have x squared. We'll put a line through it because we already have that one. Then we have plus xy and plus xy, so that would be two of them, so that gives us plus 2xy, so we'll cross those out. Then we have a minus xz and a plus xz, so they cancel out. Then we have a plus y squared. And here we have a minus z and a plus yz, so that cancels out as well. And finally, we have one term left, and I forgot to put a line through that one, so I put the y squared down here. We have a minus z squared, so we put minus z squared down, and notice we have exactly what we have up there. The nine terms collapse down to simply four terms, and that's the final solution to that particular trinomial times a trinomial. And that is how it's done.